Welcome to Central Moments again. We're still in Ecclesiastes about looking at our work. And of course, he's going to put a cynical edge onto our work, but end up giving us some wonderful advice at the same time. And I love chapter 11, the second half, the second last chapter of Ecclesiastes. For he, uh, he gives us some really great practical advice. Uh, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you suffer from the paralysis of analysis, but he's going to hit that one especially hard. So let's start with verse 1. Ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may s- receive a return. So, so like, like life, everything, first of all, is a risk. And that's why we can get paralyzed by overanalyzing everything, waiting for ideal uh, concerns. He'll keep saying this over and over in these next few verses. So he says, ship your grain across the sea. Let's, uh, l- let's try some new markets in your business. Um, who knows? You may receive a return. He doesn't say you will, because we never have a for sure you will with every risk. But it's, it's, it's you may receive. Uh, for one thing, if you don't try to open up new markets, you won't receive a, a, a return. But you may receive a return if you ship your grain across the sea, if you open up new markets. Uh, verse 2, invest in seven ventures. Yes, in eight. For you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. So this is related to the idea in the first verse. You know, try new markets. Diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, Don't put your entire um, retirement account in one company stock. I mean, just diversify your investments uh, because you don't know what, what, what may be coming. And so you hedge your bets and you mitigate risk by diversifying. And if clouds, verse 3, if clouds are full of water, they pour rain on the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Well, that sounds like kind of an obvious statement. Yeah, where it falls, that's where it will be. Uh, that's a pretty obvious statement. But he's saying, you know what, there's some things you can't change. Uh, these th- just things, uh, we, we navigate risk uh, given, given realities that we can't control. But, but he kind of brings it all together in the next verse. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the path of the wind or how a body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. So God's interfacing with our activities day to day. He's interfacing with our decisions and the risks we're taking. Some things are out of our control. They're only in his control. Um, but, but he warns us, if you watch the wind, you will not plant. And whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. So if you're waiting for the, if you're a farmer and you're waiting for the ideal weather conditions, uh, it is likely that you'll never get anything done because nothing's ever ideal. And this, this is wrapping it, it up. You know, diversify your investments, open up new markets. Um, you know, some things are things you can't control. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, but uh, but in it all, the bottom line is don't don't be paralyzed by over analyzing analy- things. Uh, you got to take risks in life. Around uh, the team I work with here at Central Assembly, we sometimes talk about the eighty percent factor. Like like we'll pull the trigger on it when we're eighty percent ready, because you're never a hundred percent ready. And you can just keep talking about things around the table. You can just keep putting it off, procrastinating, because, well, I don't know if we're ready yet, and I don't think everything's ideal. And uh, 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 um, in fact, a lot of companies and just a lot of wisdom in life uh, ascribes to the 80% rule. Um, Don't be paralyzed by uh, over-analyzing things. Mitigate your risks, diversify, don't do foolish things, but act when you need to act. And may God give you grace. Father, help us with this. Help us not to live passively and therefore accomplish too little. But Lord, uh, help us to have wisdom, to be active, to be opening up new markets, to be planting new seeds, to be taking God-given risks, risks that you see and you superintend. In Jesus' name, amen. (music) 